transgression. Why there was no blood transgression? Because when I woke up, everything is normal. So the priest prayed. And after praying, he answered that those blood coming out from my mouth is for cleansing. I have to be cleansed because I will face the Lord. And also they asked me, why you? Why did Jesus choose you? Why you? So I answered them, maybe because I am nothing. Maybe because I have nothing to be proud of except for my sins. That's why when I have a conversation with the Lord, I ask the Lord, my Lord, my God, why me? I'm a sinner. I'm a sinful man. There are so many much more worthy than me. Why me? And Jesus answered, You cannot appreciate the beauty of my mercy unless you experience the misery of sin. You cannot appreciate the beauty of my mercy unless you experience the misery of sin. So I accepted my mission. And also, I asked the Lord, My Lord, my God, what are the sins that you cannot forgive? What are the sins that you cannot forgive? And then Jesus said, All sins can be forgiven. All sins can be forgiven except if you refuse to believe that your sins can still be forgiven then that's the sin that he cannot forgive because Jesus said by refusing his mercy you are also refusing to believe that he is a God by refusing his mercy you are also refusing to believe that he is a God and also, I ask the Lord, my Lord, my God. So many are coming to me and entrust their problem to me. What shall I do? And then Jesus said, just let them pray the chaplet unceasingly and they will be guided. Just let them pray the chaplet unceasingly and they will be guided. That's why now, in the Philippines. The chocolate is very popular, not only among the Catholics, but also with the other denomination. Because there are so many miracles that they attributed to the chocolate. There are so many miracles that they attributed to the chocolate. For example, my spiritual director, Monsignor Chris Garcia, he had a slight stroke, so he was admitted at the hospital. And the doctor said that he has a brain tumor and that there is a virus in his brain and that he cannot open his eyes because it is too painful. So we went to the hospital and we prayed the chaplet of the Divine Mercy together with Monsignor Chris Garcia. And after praying the chaplet, several minutes later, Monsignor Chris stood up and we have a conversation. And another several minutes later, he asked for his laptop computer. <laughs> so you see the power and the miracle of the chocolate. The following day, again, we played the chocolate of the Divine Mercy together with Monsignor Chris. And after praying the chocolate, the doctors re-examined him and found him negative of everything. So on the third day, he checked out of the hospital as if nothing's happened. So you see the power and the miracle of the chocolate. And also, we have a divine mercy leader in Katipunan, Dipulo, Sambuanga del Norte in the Philippines. His wife had a stroke early in the morning. So they brought his wife to the hospital. And the doctors give them a prescription pad so that they can buy the medicines. But at the time, no? at the time, he has no money. 
so he has to sell his pig. And the buyer paid him for the pig, but the buyer said that he will just get the pig the following day. But that afternoon, that very day, the pig refused to eat. But he refused to stand up. So he was so worried because if something happens to the pig, he will be in trouble because he already consumed the money to buy the medicines. So he was so worried. So he called his children and explained to them that he had to pray the chocolate for the pig. <laughs> so they pray the chocolate. But at the middle of praying the chocolate, the children were laughing. They were all laughing because they said it is better to pray the chocolate to a person but not for a pig. <laughs> so he has to explain it again and explain it again. <laughs> and on the third time that they pray the chocolate, the children pray intensely. And after they finish the chocolate, the pig suddenly stood up. <laughs> and one of the children ran and get some food for the pig. And the pig consumed everything. <laughs> and the lesson is, if Jesus answers the prayer for the pig, how much more if we pray the chocolate? To a human being. How much more if we build the chocolate to a human being? That's why Jesus said, Before I come as a just judge, I will open wide the doors of my mercy. Before I come as a just judge, I will open wide the doors of my mercy. But then Jesus continued, Jesus said, He who refuses to pass through the doors of my mercy, will have to pass through the door of my justice. He who refuses to pass through the doors of my mercy, will have to pass through the doors of my justice. Now, after a long while, that Jesus is opening that door of mercy. And after a long while, he will close that door of mercy. And if he will close that door of mercy, then who can enter heaven? When heaven is only for the clean. When heaven is only for the pure. And who are the clean? And who are the pure? All of us are sinners. All of us are unclean. We can only enter heaven through His mercy, through His love. Without God's mercy, without God's love, it is too difficult to enter heaven. That's why Jesus now is begging us to go out and proclaim His mercy. That He is a God of mercy. And that His mercy is unfathomable. But also Jesus said, Proclaiming my mercy is not enough. Proclaiming my mercy is not enough. You have to put mercy into action. You have to put mercy into action. And how? By living as an example of His mercy. By living as an example of His mercy. And I will close this testimony with another praise from Jesus. When He said to me, He who saves a soul saves His own. He who saves a soul, 